we know the fingerprint uh, is uh, unique for every individual this is my uh, fingerprint so this fingerprint basically belongs to me similarly the XRD pattern is just like the fingerprint once we get this pattern so clearly we identify that what is the phases uh, exist in a crystal uh, materials X-ray diffraction is a very, very important in common characterization techniques in material science, in solid states, in biological sciences. In today's video, I will only talk about the phase identification that how XRD provides information about the phases. So what is phase identification? XRD pattern, this is basically XRD pattern. It is just like the finger frame. You know, this is my fingerprint and it belongs to me. Because of this fingerprint, people can recognize me, machine can recognize me. So similarly, once we have this pattern, we can easily recognize that what type of phases exist in a material. We know that uh, titania exists in three phases. For example, anatase, uh, brokite and rotile. If you look here, so all these three phases have the same uh, chemical composition mean uh, they, they made from titania and oxygen only but they they, they, they all have very different uh, XRD pattern uh, because of uh, different phases now the question is uh, we have this XRD pattern this is experimentally uh, XRD pattern this is my experimentally and this is from database this is from database I will explain what is this database so what basically we do, we basically compare, match the peak position. This is basically the peak position here. This is at an x-axis. This is the peak position. We compare the peak position and relative intensity. Look here, in my x, my synthesized material, the, the, the experimental XRD peak is uh, here, uh, at this point here. So this database peak, it should match with the database base peak here. You see here intensity. Similarly, the second is higher. So it should match 100% with the uh, database peak here. And similarly, why I circle these three? The at least three peaks should match exactly with the database. Three, at least three here. You see here, both peak position and relative intensity for at least three peaks must fit. So once it, it is 100% match and fit, so you can clearly identify that uh, this is my uh, this kind of phase in this kind of phase now let's see what are the databases there are three uh, databases or three sources the first one is basically commercially purchased database that is basically the international center for uh, diffraction data uh, previously it, it called the joint committee for powder diffraction standard so they basically maintain the powder diffraction files for all organic inorganic materials for example this is the pdf1 uh, file they basically list the d spacing in relative intensity of uh, thousands thousands and thousands uh, elements or materials so just uh, we just compare with the with their with these relative intensity in peak positions the peak position is basically you see here this peak position and d spacing are basically uh, related with each other with the help of this theta here uh, we know that this is sine inverses uh, lambda by 2d from Bragg's equation so the d spacing in the uh, uh, peak position basically are the same thing right uh, similarly pdf2 basically it index cell parameters chemistry density of the materials so this database is not free available database but we we can purchase and we just uh, match our uh, experimental xrd the second one is basically the online open access just like the SIP file uh, this is from crystallography.org uh, or net so you can also take help from uh, this uh, online open uh, access database the third one is very very important that is basically the literature because these two databases basically get the, the, the data from literature so why don't you look to the literature so in many cases, very newly developed materials will not yet appear in these databases. So the best place is to find these uh, spectra XRD pattern uh, in the original publications. 